All right, the last little bit of the, the F2 was the um, uh, actually being able to see what's going on. And this is kind of exciting. It kind of gets into um, some of the debugging stuff I was alluding to earlier. So here's the deal. Um, we just basically spent some time editing this, but let's imagine we want to actually see this run through. Well, over here, it doesn't look like much, but there, this little gray bar actually means something. And I, if I basically click on the line, I would like the program to stop at, and then let me see what's under the hood. I can click there. I get a nice little um, circle. This is all talked about, by the way, in the book, and it's on this particular slide here. But what will happen now is that when I run the program, it'll stop here as if it aired out and show me what it's actually thinking. This is super critical. I can run the program. So, so far, everything is great, right? I'm going to put in like 112 and one year, and I'm going to go calculate. Now, this, when I click on this, it's going to fire off the click event for that button. I'm going to go go, and boom, it looks like an error, but it's not an error now. This is actually showing me what is in memory at this moment in time. So, I, for example, is zero. The monthly interest rate is uh, 0 0.01. We kind of had it calculated up there. And then uh, the months is 12. We kind of have that calculated. I won't talk about this. And there, there is the interest rate. Now I can step through this very slowly by going F11 or one of the buttons up here, right? So at this point, we're just gonna talk about pretty simple stuff. I'm gonna step through it. So I hit F11. And now I'm on to the next thing. And is I less than months? And you'll see that I is zero and months is 12. So yes, it is. Then it's going to go through. And uh, we're, we're falling into this block of code. Here's the future value. And now it, there's some really cool stuff here. The future value is currently zero. You can see it down here. It is zero. And as we step further into this, now future value, as we step out of that line, it's now got 101. It's also, by the way, telling me how many seconds or milliseconds have elapsed, which is pretty cool. So then I can go step again. It's now going to increment I. So we'll see I change down here from zero to one. And off we go again. Is uh, uh, At this point, by the way, pay attention to where the yellow is. So is I less than months? It is. So then it goes in again. Going to calculate the future value. Boom. Future value has been changed now. Right? And then, and then this keeps going. And you can just kind of watch your data change. And when you're done, when you think you you know what's happened, or maybe you're just happy with it, if you hit, uh, you can either just get right out by you know falling out of debug mode there, or you can hit the F5 button as well. And now that basically brings me back to my actual program. And then I can click on exit, and then I am done. And that was really the whole point of. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, uh, oh, nine, and ten. Well, well, you, if you probably want to know how to remove it too, so of course, if you click now, there's no breakpoint in this thing, and this thing will work uh, as it did before. So if I go 100, 12, and one, and I go calculate, boom, it's done. All right, so that was it. It was a pretty short one, but um, it, it's kind of neat uh, that this doesn't just work for loops, obviously. If I wanted to uh, have a breakpoint up here and run it. Then what would happen, put in my 100, put in my 12, put in my one. Now I can actually watch my variables being built very slowly. So, um, well, that's interesting. Anyway, so right now monthly investments is zero, but if I go uh, F11 and step through, monthly investments now becomes 100 bucks. Yearly interest rate is zero. When I uh, F11 again, it's now become 12. And so I'm slowly watching my variables get built. And now uh, I'm about to go into the loop. So there you go. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, definitely play with that, uh, especially on your smaller programs. It gets a lot harder on the larger, uh, larger programs.